to see that the congress was very deliberately manipulated as a special purpose vehicle to whom power would be handed over do you know they put in zero golgappa work in independence all the painstaking negotiations that were done for the round table conference in london after mm-hmm. the first world war the congress had a bunch of serious lawyers who were meant to go it was meant to negotiate a dominion status like ireland which would ultimately become independent gandhi who is not a member of the congress at this point of time he never was he never joined the primary membership of the congress incidentally there's no i will go and what does he do when he goes there nothing he's just talking mm-hmm. rhetoric speeches so all the preparation that the lawyers had done went out then you have the election boycott and things like that happen and isn't it amazing in the uh, uh this thing in the uh history books you are never taught about that period between 1918 1919 and 2032 to 36 i think it was a uh, 32 maybe 20 odd years where two other parties completely dominated the political scene in india who did all the negotiations for independent india the indep- the negotiations for independent india were not done by the congress i want you to and in fact you know people don't talk about this but motilal nehru jawaharlal's father left the congress and joined one of these parties mm-hmm. koi iske bare mein baat nahi karega uh let me get this up for you uh legislative assembly election 1919 uh central legislative assembly eh hang on 1920 indian general election ye dekho it was called the democratic party let me share this with you guys mm-hmm. i want you to all uh see this because this is very important i'm just taking you to the wikipedia page where any of you can go and check it out but look at this 104 seats contested the winner was a gentleman called hari singh gor from the democratic party of india hmm theek hai and mahatma gandhi can you see here mahatma gandhi called for a boycott of the election why was that next the next election after this in 1920 indian general election the next one would be after uh uh this thing and tej bahadur sapru was the first this thing there were actual members indian members of the cabinet at that point of time as you can see industries etc 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 uh and the next one was the 1925 general election i think uh Abeyar, 1923. Okay, and this is where the Swaraj Party came about. And this is, liberal. Uh, this is the one that Raja Ji was. No, no, no. Right. That, uh, th- that's a different party. This is the Swaraj Party. Oh, that was Swaraj. This is Swaraj. Sorry, I'm, I got confused. That was the Swatantra Party, I think. No. Oh, Swatantra. Yeah. What are you talking about? Sorry, right. I'm sorry. that was a right, swatantra right. party the magazine was swaraj yeah sorry sorry right so yeah. this was uh, uh, so this was the swaraj party theek hai is so you had ha kya iske leader motilal nehru the na correct hmm. and he left the congress to join this party so you must have seen some opportunity 20, here na so the congress basically then rejoins the election in 1932 or something like that to so the crucial formative years when the structures of power the slow handover the indianization the congress was completely absent mm. and the congress was always a special purpose vehicle created for the british to hand over power 